high in the air out to left field. Willett has a beat on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. He played an inning. No score here on MLB Network. Next will be the designated hitter, Miguel Chavis. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the home team. And Manning second base today is a guy with one of the quickest hands in the game. That's the name of the game over at second base. It's not about range. It's not about arm strength. It's about turning every double play for your pitching staff. Making the routine play and making sure every two is turned. Now to the plate, Mark Schnell. The 1-1 one, one home is looked at for ball number two. The 2-1. Taken hey. strike two. We're seeing quite a few pitches up from him right now, and that can obviously be dangerous. A cold strike there, but he might need to lower his sights a little bit. Hit hard on the ground at first. He lays out, but he can't make the play, and it's through into right. Hey, don't sleep on first base. I know they call third base the hot corner, but there's some bullets hit down that way, too. Good effort on the dive right there, but batter singles. Now a move over to first. Throw is up the line as it gets away. Into the box now, Felipe Rodriguez. Swing and a little tapper. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Here now the 2 2. Count remains 2 and 2. He's set and the 2 2 pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Another try at 2 2. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So here's the cleanup hitter, Carlos Gutierrez. Fastball that just misses inside. Two two he is swung on and missed. He got him. All right, here's how the visitors are lining up today. And over at first base in this one today is the guy that can pick it with the best of them. And I can't overstate that enough. As a former middle infielder, when you could close your eyes and throw it over to first base, knowing it was getting picked out of the grass or picked out of the dirt, man, what a comfortable feeling. 
Settling in now, Tim LoCastro. Two, two and two now. Outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Best onto the grass, and that's the second out of the inning. Batting six, catcher, number 66. Standing in, number 66. He stands in for the first time in this one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Yeah. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Hey, I love that pitch right there, and that's where he's going to have to work. He's going to have to work down in the zone. This is a hitter's park. We all know the ball flies, and if he's going to keep the ball in the yard, he's got to execute down to the hollow of the knee. Ball Not two. trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. Batting seven, third baseman, Francisco Sanchez. Stepping into the box, Francisco Sanchez. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two-out walk, always considered a big no-no, of course. The 1-1 one -one is laid off for ball two. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Moving under it, will it? And that retires the side. So they pick up no runs, no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll go now to the top of the third. And we are tied, nothing, nothing. You're Scott Barlow, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the Number bullpen. 58. In now, Nick Best, 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. No ball. offer on that one, two balls and a strike. Is put in play to the right side of the infield, to his right, Tonus. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting eight, second baseman, Lewis Hernandez. Coming to the plate now, Lewis Hernandez. The 3 1. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Tomlinson comes up with it. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting, Roger Willett. Third inning, no score to this point. Skied into straightaway right. Chadwick is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over.
Rick Coley is on and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number 34, Rick Coley. Digging in the switch hitter, Thomas Tomlinson. Now the 2 1 pitch. It swung on and missed for strike number two. Two and two. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That was a nasty looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. The classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Standing in now, Alex Seals. Bounce towards the mound. Throw on to first, two gone. The left fielder, number double zero, Ryan Roberts. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Ryan Roberts. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Diego Diaz will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Northern Division. Number eight, Diego Diaz. Ready for another chance. Gilberto Guillen 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Tonus is there. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. All right, fielder number three, Erwin Wang. So stepping in, Irwin Land. He flew out in his last at bat. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Good pitch right there with the bases empty. Why not take a shot? Throw that breaking ball in the dirt and see if he'll chase after it. The one two. Misses ball two. That's back to back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. The 2 2. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Roberts is calling for it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The batter, left fielder. Troy Willen. Ready now, Troy Willett. Two out, nobody on. High in the air out to center field. Seals coasts under it, and the inning is over. Copley takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch. Number 12, Mike Copley. So striding in, Ronnie Chadwick. And he takes a cold strike, too.
the one two hit on the ground out to short best he loves it and a bit of a high throw that time but no problem over there at first as they record the out now batting second baseman Michael Tony digging in Michael Tonis one out nobody on no offer on that one two balls and a strike Copley a 27 year old his arsenal includes a cutter a slider a curve and a changeup. the two one home doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. The three one. He loses him on ball four. They haven't been able to register a hit against this guy, but at least they have a base runner here. We'll see if that leads to something. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Carlos Gutierrez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. And out of here, and I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left, as it's now a two-nothing ball game. Wow, that's what a pitcher gets for not putting what he thought was a bad call in the rearview mirror. I think he was still fuming and didn't get the pitch where he wanted it. The result? A reason to be even more mad. Into the box, Tim LoCastro. Hey. And that pitch catches the inside corner. Down the third baseline. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Now the three and two pick. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Now at the plate, number 66. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Here's the one and two delivery. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. LaCastro, base runner at first with one out. And that one stayed too low apparently. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? And he'll dive back in. Skied into straightaway right. Lamb is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Third baseman, number 13, Francisco. Digging in for his second at bat, Francisco Sanchez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 1 2 misses above the zone for a ball. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Here now the 2-2. Hit down the line at first. And 
he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two run home run. We're through four. It's now a two nothing ball game. Monty Ibar enters from the bullpen to do the pitching. Number nine, Monty Ibar. Striding forward now is the DH, Miguel Chavis. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Hey, boys, although I'd love to get all over this offense for underachieving, let's tip our cap to this pitching staff right here. They've been able to execute, working all four quadrants and keeping this team totally off balance. Three, two, one more time. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, they haven't been able to scratch a run across yet, so maybe this walk will jumpstart their offense a little bit. Stepping up now, Mark Schnell. He reached on a single in his first try. The 1-1. One, one. And this is fouled at the plate. The one two grounder down the line at third that's through for a base hit he's now two for two in this one. You don't see that too much in today's game most guys it doesn't matter what the count is they're looking to line them drive the ball out of the ballpark not the case here good two strike adjustment able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Stepping in now, Felipe Rodriguez lifted in the air to center, moving under it, seals one down. Now batting, the shortstop, Nick Best. At the plate, Nick Best. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Chavis over at second. Schnell is over at first with one away. Here's a blooper out toward left center. Roberts ranging forward and he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. The batter number nine, second base play, Lewis Hernandez. At the plate, Lewis Hernandez. Two men are on with two men out. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. Hey, it's looking like he may be able to get out of this one after giving up two singles early. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Runner scores from second and they inch a little bit closer. It's now a two to one ball game. Dan, you were one pitch away from getting out of this. Two outs, two strikes on the batter, and he's able to throw out a ribby knot. Dero, it's hard to get more frustrated than that as a pitcher. You're one pitch away from getting out of a lot of traffic on the bases, getting into the inning, and next thing you know, you give up a two out, two strike base hit. Nothing more frustrating for a pitcher than to have that happen. In now, Roger Willette. Even count two balls and two strikes. Two down runners at first and second. to hold the lead here's the delivery now a swing and a fly ball 
And foul. And a big strike out there as they'll leave a couple of runners on base. And after a good start to the inning, they can't capitalize any further. So one run here on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Home half of the fifth coming up. The North Division stars from the Texas League are on top, two to one. David Wilkinson is on, and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number five, David Wilkinson. Stepping in, Thomas Tomlinson. Lifted down the line and left. Schnell trying to get there, and that will end up a foul ball. Slider, oh look out as that one just about took his nose off. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. A little bit over halfway home tonight, bottom of the fifth as we get a look at our line score to this point. And boy, just one hit for these guys, and they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. So striding forward now, Alex Seals. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. Now the three and two pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. The throw into second. And he'll reach second now with one away. Well, he was definitely not looking off speed on that pitch. I'll tell you, he had to be sitting on a fastball on that one because it's coming in hot, and he still manages to get out front of that and yank it for two bases. Into the box now, Brian Roberts. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. All right, fielder number 19, Ronnie Chadwick. Ready for another shot now, Ronnie Chadwick. Count is one and two now. Seals at second, Roberts at first, one gone. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. From the belt, kicks and deals. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. It's been a really rough day for this lineup. There's really no other way to How say it. Him? Not a lot of that good scoring him. opportunities, and when they've Michael had them, like right Tony. now, it's just been an uphill battle for them to make anything positive happen. Digging in now, Michael Tonus, and we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Count still full, three and two. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch ripped down the first base line. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Three two pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. Moving under it, land. And that retires the side. 
Both teams battling the elements thus far, but we've got a tight game through five. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Number 24 gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Number 24. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Gilberto Guillen. He'll start the inning and we're back to the top of the order, but they haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet, right, guys? Well, none of them have any hits yet, so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Another opportunity for him here, so we'll see if anything changes. The 1-1. One, one. This is lined to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the leadoff man's aboard in their half of the sixth inning. Hey guys, he's lucky he's getting this baseball back. He hung that middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up, and he was able to put good wood on it. Perhaps sensing he's going to look to first and the runner back easily. Into the box, Irwin Bland pulls this one in the air out to left. Roberts on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Now batter, left fielder, Troy. Willett. Coming to the plate now, Troy Willett. Now the 2 1 pitch. Popped him up. Number 66 waits on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. The batter, number eight. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Miguel Chavis. Hey. And he looks at one in there, one and two. You know, they finally get the leadoff runner on. It, it would be sad to watch him waste this opportunity. Somebody's got to come through with a base hit. Here's the one and two delivery. Hit hard down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's another one two fouled off open to send him packing pitch on its way a little bouncer but that one rolls foul keep battling young man three foul balls in a row. He is calibrating that heater and the off speed. Let's see if he can catch something on the barrel. The one two is in off the plate. Tough to take a pitch like that right there especially in a one two count. You almost get in that auto swing mode. Great job to work the count back to even. Guillen the runner at first with two gone. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Roberts moves over and that ends the inning. Marcel Brewster enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 26, Marcel Brewster. Ready to take his hacks again, Carlos Gutierrez, as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. 
A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Well, I have to give credit to him on the mound for not letting that previous pitch get to him. He wanted it, but he didn't get the call. But I love how he didn't let it affect him, and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. Stepping in now, Tim LoCastro. Chopped weakly to the left. And there are two away now. Now batting, number 66. Into the box now, number 66. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1-1. One -one. Is taken for a ball as that slider broke off the plate. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Low scoring game thus far, two to one here in the sixth. And it's two balls and two strikes now. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's count and ended up chasing one out of the zone. Now the count's even again. The 2-2. Two -two. High in the air down the right field line. Land moves over. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. Welcome back to Arlington. We're off to the seventh inning now, but first let's have a look at our game summary to see how we got here. Your Gavin Thompson please. is on to pitch now from the pitching. bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 28, Gavin Ramon Vega will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Vega. One two is a sharp slider taken low for a ball. Right hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Here now the two two goes the other way and sends it deep down the right field line. But that'll be off the right field wall. And he'll get in at second base as the tying runs aboard with a leadoff double. Wow, when I heard that and saw it leave his bat, I thought we were going to be all tied up. But it just didn't have enough to get out of here, so he's going to have to settle for a double. Tying run on second, and now things are officially getting interesting. Adrian Lyons will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 12, Adrian Lyons. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. The one two. Count still at one and two. And he takes strike three cold on the fastball. One gone. Now with the plate, Nick Best, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Vega, the runner at second with one away. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. 
Now, after back-to-back -back strikeouts, he's got a real good chance of making that leadoff double pretty much meaningless. He's made some good pitches, and these hitters have really failed driving him in or at least getting him over. In now, Luis Hernandez, very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Lifted down the line in left. Roberts is after it, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And that's going to plate the tying run from second as we've got ourselves a brand new ball game now. You know, D-Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen, and I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Standing in now, Roger Willett. Swing and a miss on a pitch outside. One and two now. One two pitch in the dirt here. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The two two one more time. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Roberts has a read on it, and the inning is over. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Bottom of the seventh now. Get up and stretch here in Arlington, and we are tied 2 2. Ramon Vega is going to go ahead and stay in the ballgame and play third now. Number 18, Ramon Vega. Adrian Lyons will stay in the ballgame as he'll take over at first base. Alberto Rodriguez gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Now at the plate, Francisco Sanchez. Here it is, the 3 0. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Yeah, that strategy is great when it works, but when it doesn't, it's ugly. And he was here to face one guy, and he couldn't get it done. At the plate, Thomas Tomlinson. He got called out on strikes his last time through. The 0-2 home. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. What's your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game today, Dan? That was his third tonight, and it seems we're seeing that a lot more these days. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out. A strikeout is just as good as a regular out, but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now. Into the box, Alex Seals. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to. And that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. Keith Roman will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. That one's in there, three and one. 
That pitch is in triple digits. I think he had to take that one because I'm not even sure he saw it. Ready with the 3-1. Full count, 3-2. and two. All right, 3-2 count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Taken high and deep to right. Land going back. Still ranging back. Gone! A two-run shot that gives them the lead. A two-run blast to straightaway right field as they take the lead. It's now 4-2. to two. Well, when you're all over the place location-wise, sometimes you're just happy to get the ball anywhere near the strike zone. Problem with that is one right there in the heart of the plate, and he didn't miss it. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Ready on one and two. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the inning. So two runs on one hit, and the one hit was a big one, the home run. Eighth inning coming up. The North Division stars from the Texas League lead it four to two. Roman will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Number two, Keith Roman. Jerome Cooper will stick around as he'll take over in right field. James Brady has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. James Brady. Pedro Chavez is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead off the top of the eighth. Lifted down the line in left. Roman sprinting after it, and this will fall, but it's a foul ball. Softly on a line to third. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Hey, sometimes that's how a rally gets started right there. I know it's a soft liner, but leadoff man on usually poses problems. And before the 3 2, a move to first. Don't want to forget about it. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And a big sigh of relief on the mound is that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Another full count pitch home. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Time now for our starter comparison, and that tells the story. As you can see, neither guy able to get past five innings. Cody Guevara will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 22, Cody Guevara. Pulled toward right center field. Seals giving chase. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting. Designated hitter. Miguel Jack Harrison will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Jack Harrison. And 
And there he goes towards second. Pitch inside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Now the three and two pitch. It's back up the middle and into center field. And that's through into center field, base hit. And to score, the runner from second. Well, due to the elite speed, some say he's in scoring position even when he's starting from first. And here Showtrack demonstrates why as we see the incredible top speed as he came around to score pretty easily from second. Stefan Alaniz will look for some two-out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Full count now, three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Harrison leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Sliced hard on the ground. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. So a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. The North Division stars from the Texas League are on top, four to three. Pedro Chavez will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Number 17, Pedro Chavez. Willie Eckel will stick around as he'll take over in right field. Cody Guevara will stay in the ball game now and take over in left field. Stefan Alaniz is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Tanner Covey is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 20, Tanner Covey. Grant McManus is going to grab a bat here as he looks to try to set the table in the bottom of the eighth as they look for some insurance. Hard hit ball to second. Hernandez. Right there, throws in time, and that's out number one. Now batting, first baseman, Carlos Gutierrez. Salvatore Cuvedo will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. And it's fouled away. Now another 0-2. And he got him. Chris Espinoza will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Chris Espinoza. Nope. Lays off two and two now. Pretty standard curve in the dirt looking for a strike out there, but that was a good job of recognizing it and holding back at the plate. 4-3 our score here as we play the eighth. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. 
number 66 would be next if they can keep this inning alive. The 3 2 pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Eccles is in pursuit. And that retires the side. McManus will stay now in the ball game now as he base. comes on to play Number second one. here. Brand McManus. Now Salvatore Cavedo will stay in the ball Number game as he'll take over Cavedo. at first base. Julio Arias Cavedo. comes out of the Cavedo. bullpen, Cavedo. bullpen Cavedo. to Cavedo. shut things down Number here in the seven. ninth. Julio. Kicking off the top of the ninth, Adrian Lyons, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. The 1 1 home. Bounces in the dirt for a ball. The 2 1. Fastball that misses. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2 0 doesn't exactly help the situation very much. Into his motion. Here comes the 3 and 1. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. has to give here's the payoff pitch swing and a miss on the fastball and there's the first out here in the ninth talk about blowing it by a guy geez I mean that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone I have to think he was looking for something off speed and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball into the box now Nick best a ball and two strikes. <laughs> Lifted in the air out towards left center. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second now, out. Second baseman, Lewis Hernandez. Digging in and looking for more, Luis Hernandez is two for three thus far. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. On the ground to the left side. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. And it's a 4-3 finish in this evening's ball game. The Northern Division All-Stars jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Gavin Thompson takes home the win. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak, and the entire crew, I'm Matt Baskersian. You've been watching MLB Network. Have a good night, everybody. For the South Division of the Texas League, three runs on eight hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 58 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.